Welcome to Tom Teaches YouTube, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to organize all of your project files. I'm gonna be doing this on a PC, but it's the same principles if you're working on a Mac. So the first thing you need to decide is where you wanna put all of your project files. If you're in my class, I would either go on your desktop or in Documents, I would create a new folder for the class called YouTube, and then within that folder, you should already have your banner project, but you should also create a folder for every video you're gonna make. I'm just gonna click right click and then hit new folder. You can also go up to this button right here, shift command N right here to get a new folder as well. Then put a one or two word title for whatever your video is gonna be about. Let's say my video is footage on how to edit. So I'm gonna say how to edit as my video. The next thing you wanna do is open up a new window. So you can go to file, open new window, or you can just do control N uh, to do this. And then on a Mac, it's control T or command T, uh, and it'll create two different tabs. And this is so you can drag your footage to this folder. So I need to find where my footage is is it's probably gonna be on something called EOS Digital or something along those lines after you plug your SD card in. Um, I'm gonna look for the, the camera that I had my footage on. And let's say these three videos are the ones that I want to bring onto my computer. So I can just highlight them by clicking and dragging and highlighting like that. And then I'm going to drag them in the how to edit folder. And it might take a few moments for these to copy to my computer. And once it's copied over, you'll see all of your clips in there. Now we also want our Premiere Pro project file in here. So we're gonna open up Premiere Pro. And when it opens up, just click on new project. If this doesn't show up, you can also just go to new project from the file menu here, but I'm gonna click right there. And I'm gonna do how to edit but I'm not gonna just click okay. And the main thing is this location on your computer is probably gonna be defaulted somewhere else where it's gonna be putting all of your Adobe Premiere projects. You wanna click on browse and then find that folder that you created, how to edit, and you wanna select this folder and click okay. Now, if I pull that folder up, you can see the project right here, which is really convenient when you open up this folder, your project and the clips that you need are right there. And there's one added benefit of starting your Premiere project right here. So let me just start editing real quick. Let me click on assembly up here just to change the format of this. And it says import my media to start. So I can actually click right here and then highlight my clips and then just drag it into this little import media spot. Remember you wanna click on assembly first to do that. And then I have all of my clips. And the first thing, I need a timeline that I can actually start editing my video clips on and see what my final video is gonna be. So what I like to do is I'd like to take one of my main videos and I right click on it. And I click on new sequence or timeline from this clip. And it creates a little timeline based on the settings of this clip. I can change the name of this timeline. You can see that this icon's a little bit different. It's a sequence icon and I can just call this one how to edit. And so now let me save this by just going to file save. And when I go back to my folder, You'll see that there's a new folder here that's called the autosave. This is really helpful because if you ever have Premiere Pro crash on you, Premiere Pro is gonna be saving every five or 10 minutes. And then even if you didn't end up saving your work, you can double click on there and it'll show all of the little auto saves that Premiere did in the background so you didn't lose everything. So that's kind of nice having all of this in one place. And if I end up using any video clips from online, any music, any images, I pull it all to this folder to make sure everything stays organized. So hopefully that is helpful in helping you stay a little bit organized. Let me know if you have any questions about this process. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to stay in the loop with any upcoming videos, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.